Okay, let's talk about juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. So this accounts for about 25 to 30 percent of all idiopathic generalized epilepsies and it's thought to have a genetic basis although there is not one single gene that has been shown to lead to this diagnosis. There have been a few associated genes though. The onset is generally in the adolescent years between 12 and 18 years old. There are three main seizure types seen in the disease. So the classic one is the myoclonic jerk that normally happens in the arms. And this occurs upon awakening in the early morning or up to one hour from awakening. A generalized tonic-clonic seizures happen in almost all patients and sometimes in about a third of patients the first seizure type that actually appears is the absence seizure although not all patients will have this. Anxiety and mood disorders are fairly common in the disease and cognition is typically normal. So what will you see on the EEG? So normally it will have a normal background and sometimes there is a four to six hertz bilateral polyspike and wave discharge with frontal predominance. During a seizure, they can have three to four hertz polyspike waves with frontocentral predominance. So this is what it looks like. And with each of these spikes, there can be a myoclonic jerk. And this is generalized over the entire EEG. Imaging is not necessary for routine cases, but if it is done, then classically it is normal. So how do you diagnose this disorder? You should suspect it in any developmentally normal adolescent presenting with the characteristic seizures. You can start with a routine EEG, and if you don't see any abnormalities, you can proceed to an overnight EEG, which will have higher yield. The mainstay treatment for this disease is valproate, which controls seizures in 80% of patients. If there's a contraindication to valproate, then you can try levetiracetam, lamotrigine, topiramate, or zanisamide. There are medications that are absolutely contraindicated in uh, JME. These include gabapentin, pregabalin, tiagabine, and vigabatrin. These medications will aggravate all seizure types in the disease. Uh, carbamazepine, oxcarbazepine, and phenytoin may aggravate the myoclonic seizures. The prognosis. So... JME is a lifelong disease and medication is normally continued for years even after seizure freedom and only about 25% of patients are able to have a long-term remission off of seizure medications.